welcome to another exciting Top Cut game. Uh, today we have Liam Watt against Kevin Chang. I'll have a quick look at uh, what rosters they're rocking in just a second. But with me, I am joined by my podcast co-host, Mike DeLuca. How are you doing, Mike? Wonderful. Cool. Happy to be here. Uh, I think you might have a bit of insight because Kevin's one of your locals, isn't he? How uh, Have you got any insight into what kind of style he plays? Uh, I, I mean, I think he... Picked up criminals right before LVO, and he's been playing them ever since. Uh, I don't think he has anything that's like unseen before. Uh, he kind of just has been playing criminals. Uh, yeah, so he's gone. He's gone mono criminals, hasn't he? Which means he's got room for juggernaut. But other than yeah. that, and he's gone for Does a toad have, uh, black widow, which is kind of is uh, heavier on the edge. Oh, so he's got. Of... He's got Corvus and Proxima, which looks like it's new. Might have brought that oh, for the okay, car. cool. Yeah, I know that I've been running that's great success, and so is Sploosh, so it's yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. Um, and he's gone for Toad over Black Widow as well, uh, which is always a fun one. Uh, it means he's got more yeah. of an extract game and less of the, the, the round one secure stuff that you can do. Yeah, I, I love Toad, <laughs> he's, he's, my, he's my favorite two threat for sure. Uh, he is running Gamma Wave though. What's your opinion of Gamma Wave with um. Uh, with criminals uh i think it's fine uh i don't love it uh, i mean your characters are slow so you don't have to go anywhere and it scores quickly which you like but there's always a chance that you will get diced <laughs> by your opponent and, uh, okay now here's the important priority roll coming in uh, just one for Liam and three for Kevin. So I suspect he's going to pick Secures, right? Yeah, yeah it's going straight in there, Secures. And we have got Gamma, that we talked about just now, and Scrolls. So choice of 15 or 17. I suspect Brotherhood takes 17 here. Hmm. Um... Yeah, Liam, I've, I've watched a couple of Liam's games. He likes to run uh, run very tall and uh, punchy. Um, he's got, I think he's brought, yeah, he's brought Thanos into the list, the, the rea uh, reality space Thanos, so a beat face Thanos who can portal himself forward. Um, yeah, I think he'll probably play Thanos. He's great. Yeah, he's great at moving this uh, criminals off the, um, off the points. Yeah. So just have a look at his roster. What I've seen him playing previously is um, yeah, Magneto and um, just a few, a few a low character count, a lot of a lot of punching going on. Uh, it looks like we've got a 15 threat level. Uh, have a quick look over here what's going on. 15 I found can be a little bit a little bit tricky for criminals. You can't get everything you want, but um, okay, interesting. Looking like uh, again we've got Kingpin, Black Cat. Hood and Juggernaut facing off against. Um, we've got Juggernauts both sides. Juggernaut, Magneto, and Voodoo. Voodoo could be a really interesting one here. So he hasn't gone for Thanos. Yeah, um, he has gone. I would for be Voodoo. thinking about playing Corvus here if I was Kevin. Uh, Corvus is tricky to fit into fifteen, isn't he? Because uh, what you have to do is go for three Chronals, so you'd be Kingpin, Black Cat, and um, Hood, which isn't yeah. awful. Uh, and on the on the senators as well. Wait, uh, sorry, scrolls, isn't it? Yeah, black cat's pretty really good on scrolls. So once once it's found, she's great at just um, popping out and grabbing them. Right, let's get the yeah, it looks like they uh, they took fifteen, which I'm surprised. I, I'm actually less surprised by that because uh, Liam's game plan has tended to be. He's wanted to uh, go mag Magneto delivery. So Juggernaut, double moves, gets a bunch of power and can Asteroid M in Magneto. Um, so All right. Been... You're right. <laughs> oh, well, uh, yeah. What, what you didn't know is I could see what they were choosing. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. We've got... Uh, Inkpin Hood, Juggernaut, Black Cat. Okay. Uh, so I'm expecting to see a round one Magneto Asteroid M right in the middle. Uh, yeah, that seems to be all the rage these days. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
<clears throat> Shane's running a patch up, which is interesting. Oh wait, not I have I have this backwards. Liam has patch up. Uh, yeah, so we got med pack, magnetic refraction, asteroid damage, do you know who I am, patch up. Um, and chatting also, do you know who I am? Well, according to plan, climbing gear, indomitable and sacrifice. So the indomitable there, really nice, is going to probably be held to counter the do you know who I am that Liam's running. Uh, I'd expect that anyway. I've got some juggernauts hitting the table right in the middle. If you're Liam, who is your priority target then? So you're going to bring your Magneto in. Who is it you most want to blow up? Uh, it's probably Black Cat or uh, Kingpin. Probably Black Cat if Chang gives it to you. I can see Black She's Cat. She's not particularly yeah. hard to kill. And, and just removing her is I, very helpful. I can see her going... Potentially going wide, yeah, on on the flank there. So she's got an option to go to a wide um, scroll check if she wants to. Yeah, I think a lot of this game is going to come down to who's chuck or not. It rolls better. Uh, uh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? So, yeah, I think uh, another thing will be key is where, if and when all according to plan is played. So uh, another reason actually to go after a criminal syndicate uh, member first is to try and take someone off the table before you've got the power for that. Because with just two characters, it can be very difficult to get the 10 power you need in order to play that card. Yeah, or Liam could also just kill Juggernaut, which he can't pay for the card, so... Uh, yeah, sure. Um, but what I'm saying is if you kill Cat, then you've got one fewer people. If you kill Juggernaut, then you've still got three people. Sure. Okay, so it looks like we're on the clock. Now, uh, we don't have a judge in this game uh, specifically. But if we do see things, then we can get onto the old Discord and tab the accusers in, get them to jump in if, if needed. So uh, we'll keep an eye on the, on the chat. And if you do see something that needs fixing, then do let us know and we will go through the proper channels or try to get that right for you. Okay, Kingpin double moving up. Classic. Going to stand in the middle oh. and be a tank. That I car's I in love a, this. Yeah. Um, but... That car's in a slightly awkward position for him, isn't it? I mean, who am I kidding? This, yeah. this, let me zoom in. This whole battle's going on right in the middle. There's very little reason for anyone to stand anywhere else. Yeah, I'd imagine they're just going to adjust Kingpin to where he's not on the car, but still on the point. Like, yeah. The intent is kind yeah. of fine. They're just, just going to swap just the on TTS. There we go. They found, they found a spot right there. Yeah. It's yeah. probably rolls for the scroll, maybe. Uh, then he has more power, not good idea, the power to reduce damage if he does that. So Yeah. I, I don't hate not, yeah. Yeah, because then Voodoo, like, you get the Magneto leadership powering on Voodoo, and then he just possesses you and takes it. It's not pretty. Uh, I think until Magneto's kind of done his party trick, you're probably quite happy for there not to be a uh, not to be a scroll found yet. Cause otherwise this is really... why I don't like running a character in the middle immediately. It's because, yeah, now you've just given Liam Struggernaut, like, a target. When you yeah. could have just parked Black Cat on your home camel wave because she's not going to be doing anything anyway so um, then at least he probably plays voodoo next and it's interesting I'm I don't know if he's got it in his roster I didn't look but a really nice play for black cat on gamma wave is she can double long move and if you are indeed a power onto her earlier in the round she can then um, grappling hook uh, onto the back point and it's it, a double long mover can get onto that back point by themselves and maybe Liam's, uh, uh, sorry, Kevin's going to do that. Uh, I don't think he, uh, she's not right in the middle of this. I don't think things. his cat is positioned properly. No, I agree. But if he had R&D, he could R&D a power onto her. And then sure. he'd be able to. All right, so. Yeah, he's going to get damage from the Dragonaut push. Now we've got eight die yeah. punch. Good block. Pretty bad hit, so it's no damage. Mm. Probably getting pushed, though. Uh, seems likely, yeah. Uh, but that other juggernaut coming in. It's 
gonna it's, it's, it's gonna be a little bit difficult i guess juggernaut can just push through that uh police car and blow it up he can i wouldn't do that just yet i would probably play hood next and shoot juggernaut from from the home gamma wave mm-hmm. uh, just because it's like well if you move your juggernaut to the middle and punch his and push him off yeah. then magneto moves and pushes your juggernaut off so it's gonna be bad. again juggernaut completely ignoring the scroll I think again, Liam's possibly thinking he just wants to, wants to punch things, and therefore the slower the game is, the better for him. Yeah, exactly. And he always has Voodoo to just take it back if it gets found. Yeah. And you don't really have to worry about characters being off on the flanks because of Gamma. Yeah, okay, so Chang's doing what I, what I yeah. suggested. Yeah, it's definitely the right play. Fortunately for Hood, <laughs> Liam's team has six six five mystic defense. So <laughs> Yeah. Um it's gonna be, gonna be a tough day for Hood. But I mean he generates yeah. power and now he's yeah. got his shield online, he'll he have his healing fire. online his healing online next round. Lucky. So. Someone in the chat double move juggernaut and something the other jug. Uh, I'm gonna assume Dunk on. push the other juggernaut. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think you just saved your Juggernaut. If you're Chang, you save your Juggernaut for last. Uh, I mean, you can always run your Juggernaut to the back Gamma, <laughs> right? Um, so this is why I didn't like having Kingpin in the middle, because now he's displaced and useless. Mm. Black Cat can easily just sit on the home shelter and be fine. It's an easy turn one stall. And Voodoo's, you know, Voodoo's positioning there again, blocking any any possibility of that black cat placement. Uh, it's it's actually quite easy to stop if you know what you're doing. You just need to put a character forward as far forward as you can, straight ahead on that gamma shelter. It's the same uh, same trick as if you're trying to block a medium base medium mover from getting one of those side like bees. Mm. I don't know if I like this positioning from Chang. Uh, can Cat stand on the on the police car? Uh, Next one back. Yeah, I don't know if that would. Yeah, she totally can. See now, Magneto's gonna walk up and just hit her and move her off. Uh, I think if because of Liam's positioning with the with the building and like his Magneto's off center, if Cat was just on the truck or on the car, Magneto wouldn't have been able to attack her. I mean, yeah, Jackanals. absolutely not. If he if he put her on like the the bat like the trunk. Of that, yeah, uh, yeah, police car. Yeah, this is a position here. Six dice yeah, pistol yeah, coming in. Get pushed into the side. Yeah, and uh, it's better for Magneto to be out of three because he's never going to get rerolls against Cat anyway. Yeah, so Cat's going to take four damage here. So Oof. yikes! And she's going to get pushed into the gamma wave and die. You see, this is just not good. That was Liam just not going to. Push him out and take out all the damage from Gamma. See, so forget, I guess. Maybe he wants to generate some power on Voodoo. Who knows? Uh, yeah, it's a tough call, that, actually. Yeah, there's probably... Having Cat yeah. where you can get rid of her activation, because he's going to have priority next round. Getting rid of yeah, Cat's you activation. Just push her outside of range two of the shelter. She dies to the Gamma shelter. Mm -hmm. Round well. two, you just Magneto throw shit at her, and she dies. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, you know, I guess he's going to throw terrain at her now. Ah, there we go. She's and just dead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, did he... No, it wasn't his construct. He throws something small, I guess. And he threw the dumpster in the back. Uh, okay, so size two. So, getting rid of that dumpster, though, has opened up Change Juggernaut to run to the... I guess he would tie now, because there's two characters yeah, it's, there. It's, it's a lot less impactful, because uh, you're not going to get that three VPs. But and you're only stopping your opponent getting one. I think the better play is to go to the middle. Yeah, you just stand in the middle and try yeah. to get the scroll. I think it's the same VP swing. It's it's wherever you wherever you can take a point off on gamma. It's a four VP swing because it's either gain two lose two or gain three lose one or gain one lose you know, lose one gain three. Um, so in terms of the effect on the score, it's it doesn't matter where he goes to the middle or the back, and he's just a little bit better protected. Yeah, I think Chang's got to run Juggernaut to the middle, punch 
Liam's juggernaut, hope for the push, and then get the scroll. That would be ideal. Yep, and it's going to give some power because you're going to blam through that car, but I think that's always going to happen. And actually denying the terrain to Brotherhood is probably more important than the power generation that it's going to give them. Yeah, exactly. You'd, you'd want to get rid of the car as soon as possible. I mean, really what you get rid of is that size 3 next to Cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you get rid of the terrain, there's a chance Cat can live. Uh, uh, Mania's like got no rerolls, so... Juggernaut, yes, just gonna slide, destroy the car, slide into a juggernaut. Yeah. So yeah, that looks like it's gonna be what uh, three to one on the score. So oh, he's yeah. throwing juggernaut with his card. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about that. I think he was he was looking at it. I don't think he's done it. Wait, oh, no, he why? has he's paid. Paid the power. No, I don't like that no. at all. You're gonna you score the point if you just stand on it. Yeah, I think I think he was looking at that and thinking. About you might even be able to push, Voodoo, or if you punch Voodoo. One slide, yeah. He's just taking his time over this activation. I don't think it's mega impactful but it's always good just to think through your thought process and think through your mm -hmm. options so you'll often see high level players putting out things like okay where what would a th what would a long throw look like uh, what would you know a, a move and a punch is it in range even if they're not that keen on that just so they can kind of get an idea of what their options are and make a make a, a strong evaluation decide what it is they're going to end up doing so if jugs end up uh, ends up in the middle Mags takes Black Cat off the board, right? Yes. Oh, Jacob, uh, you need to update your stream title. Oh, thank you. Thanks, chat. All right, so doing a slide. Liam chooses to take a damage. The car dies, so brother gets power. We're gonna punch Juggernaut, all right. Chain got a wild, but only three hits, no damage. Oh, good luck again. Yeah, push. Yeah, the push is nice, but it's just a, just a power tax, isn't it? It's kind of whatever. Uh, Juggernaut pretty much always takes a move action. Yeah. So. All it really does is do gamma damage, I suppose, which is fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So th that is that is impactful. If I were Chang, I would try to check the scroll now for sure. Oh, actually, he didn't do any damage. No checking. He has got no power to do it. I think if he had power, he definitely would have done. Because going you know. five, one up is significant. I quite like I quite like where Hood is. I think mean, I think he's in two of Juggernaut. So if Juggernaut does get attacked, then he's got options to heal. And it'll be well, interesting to if see if Juggernaut had been able to check for the scroll and get it. He creates a position where Liam has to get the scroll back or kill Black Cat. <laughs> he's kind of in like bad shape regardless. Yeah. Fortunately, Black Cat's probably just gonna die here now. It seems pretty likely. I don't think there's. A lot he can do about that. Chang also oh, has no restricted cards in his five, which is very bizarre to me. So I would be thinking about playing all according to plan here to save your black cat, honestly. Yeah, he's got the power to do it. Uh, so we're just getting the Magneto construct put down. And then what? You just run Black Cat to the back point and have her sit there. So if you can keep three power on Cat. Um, I mean, a stagger so on Mag. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you'd spend everything on Hood and Kingpin. And then uh, you could grappling hook, check the scroll, move away. I think I'd be. Move, check the scroll. I'd be more tempted to stagger Magneto. I think that feels really, really strong. 
Yeah, you could do that. Oh, you could stack power. Magneto, and then you could power coming off King the elusive, Ben. Check the scroll. Power and then coming off Black Cat or something. Yeah, I think I think we're seeing it. He's he's seen that play and he's going down that line, yep. and keeping Black Cat alive. Leaving two on Cat's a little weird though. No, because you want to spend her and then check, but uh, yeah, yeah, yep, I, I I agree. I think maybe I think they different. forgot gamma damage. Um, no, they did it. They did. Um, yeah, Cat was dazed. Juggernaut. Juggernaut was probably. It was just... Kingpin. No, uh, uh, Liam's Juggernaut. Liam reduced. Ah, gotcha. British Juggernaut. Yeah, because that's a thing. Can you reduce gamma damage? You can. So it's not just an enemy effect. It's yes, yeah, if it would suffer damage from any source. Um, so yeah, stagger magneto, run to the hills. <laughs> That's the play, right? Yeah, I I wish he would have taken one power off of Kingpin instead of Cat, mm -hmm. so Cat can stagger magneto, elusive, check the scroll, run away. He's now okay, spent he, he, two more off Kingpin. I'm not sure. Is he adjusting now? I don't think so, because he had thirteen power across all the characters. Right, he, he overspent. I think Cat had seven. Seven, seven, three, three, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, okay, Cat looks like Cat's doing the spender. I think there's some irregularities in the power, but I'm not sure what it should have been. And we're not, we're not, not hearing what there they're saying. There should be two more on Cat. Oh, maybe he spent one or two more. No, oh, so as ever with attacks that can only do one damage, an amazing roll. This is the the Shuri effect. Um, yeah, see, now his cat has no power to check the scroll. Like, I don't know what's going on here. Well, we can uh, note that down, and maybe there was a reason for that. Because uh, the kingpin... Yeah, she's just going to run back and camp now. She's not out of range. Voodoo can easily get to her if, if he wants to. Put a, a decent attack into her, build some power. Oof, or just turn her off altogether. Hmm. So the uh, the chest clocks are being used in the top cut, so you can see them at the top of the screen. Um, and it, it is a death clock, so if the clock runs out on either player's turn, then they will lose the game. But it's, it's a really generous 75 minutes. Uh, so I don't think we're going to see anyone go to that unless there's a really, you know, puzzle to one pick kind of game where you've got to spend quite a lot of time thinking through your options, choosing carefully. Uh, in my game earlier, I did spend a good a good while just trying to unravel a knot and thinking what my best options were. I still had plenty of time left at the end of that though, and it was only really one key turn towards the end where it really made a difference. Okay, here comes the juggernaut. Just, just get in the position and right can be a bit fiddly on TTS. And now the cat's run away. Going into the juggernaut, right? Or is I don't know if I like this play. I would probably play Magneto first, but... I don't think his juggernaut is going anywhere. And I think he's probably going to Asteroid M Magneto in. And juggernaut wasn't in a spot to Asteroid M him in to a good spot. Whereas now he can Asteroid M Mags in and get two attacks into cat. That's not awful. Might force Hood to stay on that back point. Oh. And yeah, Jugs doesn't have the power for Indomitable up. Ugh. I mean, you're, you don't even Indomitable this anyway. You just let this happen. Uh, I mean, Juggernaut always takes a move action. He's just going to walk back, slide himself. And punch you know, him. That's kind of fine. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Oh, is he, he's thrown him into Cat, maybe. That's a size 5. Yeah, yeah, that, cat. yeah, I guess he wants the damage. This chain yeah. doesn't have brace, which is yeah, it's hard to me. Cat we could just die here. Well, she survives, but only just. And yeah. Juggernaut is going to maybe punch Juggernaut, try and generate two power. And if he gets that two power, sl maybe slide into Cat might be possible. 
or punch kingpin is another option. Yeah, I think this is going into kingpin. Yeah, could be juggernaut, but I think the the hands were going towards kingpin. Wow. <laughs> okay. Solid blocks from kingpin. A casual five. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so no damage. Uh, but we got the wild, so yet further away, Kingpin goes. <coughs> Hilarious. And then waddle slowly back onto a point this turn. I was wondering if Kingpin was in double move range of the backgammon point, but now he clearly is not. <laughs> no. So Liam cannot ash for him. Uh, he can, but he needs to destroy some terrain first. Yeah, so Voodoo... I guess Magneto could go and then throw no. terrain. Yeah, Voodoo's, Voodoo's got power for the throw. Voodoo can do it, yeah. And he might throw into Cat. All right, I kind of lost track of what's going on here. So we got five dice into four. This feels like Voodoo into... This is Hood into... Oh, right, of course. Yeah, this is Hood into Mystic Hood Defense. Hood into Juggernaut. He's yep. probably going to heal Cat here. That would be a good idea. Generate power. Yeah, her just extending the life of uh, Common Syndicate play, uh, pieces. Really, really strong. So second attack. You got the rapid fire on the first one. It's got the rapid fire again on this one. And some, some good blocks coming in. These, this is the game of rolling good blocks. And Juggernaut Ooh, no fine, yeah, finally takes the damage. Interest ah, okay, that's interesting. Oh, no, he's in reducing by one. Yeah. Because if I think he... Liam just really values having his Juggernaut be yeah. healthy, which I don't... I think have Juggernaut being injured, honestly, might be better. He gets a character throw. And uh, against Criminal Syndicate, whilst the, uh, they're healthy, it's not really... Yeah, doesn't matter exactly. Really that much. Because the reason... Like, he has med pack and patch up, so I feel like he values having characters healthy very highly. Hmm... I think Hood's, Hood's double move range onto that back point. That's something he's got to just keep half an eye on. I oh, know Hood's gone, but ah, Juggernaut. Juggernaut's someone who can get there with right. with plenty of wiggle room. So I was thinking, do you move Voodoo up and I, I don't know, throw something at Cat or take Cat out? Just generally throw something to generate a power so that Mags can Asteroid M in and start having a go at somebody. Yeah, uh, so I would leave be someone on that leery point. of doing an asteroid M here, but it looks like it's happening. No. Oh, he's refracting. Okay. Uh, mm. Yeah. So just in case you're not familiar, that's the card that gives everyone within... Is it range three? Uh, yes. Yeah, it gives, gives everyone within range three of Magneto, gives them cover. So just a little bit of a defensive buff. It's nice as well because with Brotherhood it comes back for free every round. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why he didn't play this on Juggernaut's activation. Uh, maybe his plans have changed a little. But yeah, I mean, is James it, just yes. going to go last with with Juggernaut and probably try to take the back gamma? And Kingpin's going to double walk to the middle. Kingpin has no other place. So, Juggernaut could probably move, move, and throw somebody with the card. And then Cheng is threatening scoring everything this round. Yep, which goes six, taking to nine. Right, so this is Voodoo into Juggernaut. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this play either. I, I don't know. I think it's kind of he had a spare action and didn't have anything better to do. Um... I wouldn't be surprised actually to see the brother uh, down. So there's just no damage, no skulls, no saps. That's oof. not good. <laughs> oof, oof, oof. Again with the good blocks. Uh, he's probably going to throw a construct here, I'd imagine. Or I don't is he think looking... he's in range to hit anybody. Yeah, he's, he's looking brother Daniel range, isn't he? That's range three. So he's out of range to brother Daniel cat. But he could brother Daniel juggernaut. I think if he does that, then it forces juggernaut to just come and beat on voodoo though. Um, so don't I don't love yeah that. I think he has to possess Juggernaut here he's going to be in bad shape if he doesn't oh well, wow okay he hasn't. 
Yeah. Mm. I used to play Kingpin here and move him to the middle, I think. Just keep him outside range to your max. Max can't attack him unless he like throws terrain to Ash right out and gets one attack, which would be in can't move range, so. Yeah, again, Kevin's looking at Juggernaut. Uh -oh. I think you hold Juggernaut till last. You'll be, you've got the last activation anyway, and being able to go and force that back point. That actually might be fine because Chang has Indomitable, and if he moves next to Max, Max can't move him anyway. So that's true, but he's going to yeah, get. Uh, I, like I, that. I I don't love uh, Juggernaut's chance of surviving Mags plus all the plus that size three and probably a size Mags two. Mags staggered. Isn't? There's only one attack. Oh yeah, one one attack. Yeah, okay, that that's true. That that definitely helps. Um, but the, there's five damage of throws coming at you as well. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think you just play Kingpin here because I, I I think that's the right move. Roach can just go last, and then there's no dice involved. Yeah, and he's got to decide what he does with Magneto. It almost doesn't matter. Magneto standing on that back point now that Voodoo's come up because if Kevin wants to take the the back point and score three VPs, Magneto standing there doesn't stop him. All it does is give Magneto two attack and a bunch of throws into whoever goes to do that, so Juggernaut, at the beginning of the next round. Yeah, if you're Chang, you want to be scoring points and spread the damage as much as possible. So, like, if, if your Juggernaut getting injured gains you, like, three VPs or something, you're probably fine with that. Or yeah. if Juggernaut, like, magically lives, you're also probably fine with that. You're super fun with that. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah. And then Hood, Hood moves up and heals him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That seems seems pretty good. Yeah, I don't, I don't love this. Um, is he looking to throw? He's spending two power on Juggernaut. He's attacking somebody. Okay. It's probably Voodoo. Maybe he's trying to get rid of... Yeah, okay. And again, why is he moving into range of Magneto? Like, you can stand on the back of the Gamma. Yeah, okay. So a little little bit of chip there into... Have I gone into... Uh, Voodoo's blocking one with cover, so he's taken one. Yeah. Yeah, I just. He gives him five. He's gonna. Where is he? Where is he going? Like, well, he's, he's moved the top. He can't yeah, push he can't, himself can't through characters. Slide through voodoo. Maybe he's gonna. Yep. Not sure. Yeah, I did not like that juggernaut activation. So, I don't like throwing Juggernaut here either. I'm just, you maybe, want to get them to get used and then throw <clears> Magneto. Maybe he's looking to search for the scroll with him. So he wanted to get him in the middle to get the scroll. But then why not uh, the attack? Yeah, I don't know. Kingpin mm. needed to go mid first. It's just, this is really weird. Yeah, Positioning-wise, maybe that body blocks where Jug's, Jug's root through, because he's got quite a big base and it needs to land somewhere on the way through to the back gamma shelter, so... Uh, he's that's... throwing Juggernaut with the card. I don't, I don't like this. Uh, what that does is that enables him to score the, uh, the middle gamma, because double moving Kingpin in there wouldn't have uh, done it. Kingpin doesn't have the power for climbing gear, but another does Jug's. Oof, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, running okay. Kingpin to the middle, Magneto, like, moves somewhere, attacks, and then... So, uh, I think Chang is afraid of Astrodem, is maybe what's happening here. Yep. It, it's a really powerful card, but Magneto's staggered at the minute, so this turn it's probably less impactful. Although he's going to have priority next turn, and Magneto could just kill Cat in Hood or something. Well, maybe that's why Juggernaut got thrown away for the fear of Asteroid yeah. M. So you don't want that to happen first activation. At least he's going to have to move Juggernaut back, and then he gets a chance to do something. Maybe to try and take down Magneto with, with um, Juggernaut. 
Okay, Max is throwing a size three by the looks of things at Juggernaut, who's locking one. He's going to reduce one as well, I suspect. But he's taking some serious damage there. Yeah. Two, two into him. And a bunch of power for Brotherhood. One for everyone. Clears the stagger. And he's outside of range two, so he's going to move Juggernaut off the point with this attack. And no damage though. Not like using Indomitable here either. I, you just have Kingpin walk to the middle. And you score it. So well, maybe he's got. Uh, I don't know. I can't see it. Some kind of crazy plan for Kingpin. Maybe he thinks he can move and is in range two of Voodoo and makes an attack with him. I don't know. Yeah. I don't love it, but maybe there's something going You're on. You're attacking into four defense Voodoo with cover. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I agree. It doesn't sound great to me, but we'll see what, what the plan was, the master plan. Yeah, see? <laughs> That's it. Do not need to use Indomitable. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe he wanted to save the slide to make sure he gets a damage onto Mags. And Jugs isn't flush with power right now. So he also hasn't checked for the scroll. Uh, he has no power, so he can't. Ju ju uh, Juggernaut had a power. Yeah, in fact, right, three, you're, three power. you're risking Juggernaut dying mm. in the round to some absurd dice that could happen. Okay, so, so another three to one. Maybe he's thinking with Hood, I can heal up some of this damage. I'm still in pretty good shape with my three healthy, which are going to seriously up contest Liam's three healthy. Maybe he's hoping for some, some good dice that's going to daze someone, maybe Magneto. Maybe he's just trying to play it a little bit conservative rather than overcommitting. I, I do like that he's keeping people on his back gamma. He's got Hood back there, counting double, so that it's really tricky for Liam to accelerate off the scoring. And if he keeps scoring three to one, then he wins the game. So, but eventually the jug uh, the Brotherhood attrition is going to start kicking in, and then when they're flipped, then this is going to go downhill very fast. I feel, you know, I feel like Kevin hasn't quite got the accelerated start that he's going to need for what's about to happen. Yeah, Chain's been able to slow the attrition down with the stagger and then all according to plan, but those are not on the table at the moment, so yeah. I'd expect to see some pain this round. Uh, I mean, what are we thinking? We're thinking a dazed juggernaut. He's only got five left. Magneto goes, pulls him in, gets re-rolls throws one to two constructs at him. No field dressing. He's got to sacrifice though, so maybe he sacrifices into Kingpin. Maybe that's the plan. May uh, there we go. Right, now it's starting to make sense. He scored, he's still up by four VPs, so he's doing, he's scoring two VPs more around, and by having Kingpin there, he can sacrifice one of the attacks into Kingpin, so Magneto's only going to get one six dice with no rerolls into Juggernaut. Maybe that's the um, that's the tech that's that's that was the, the long term plan. Maybe he was just looking further ahead than we were. I mean, so Magneto has to destroy his construct because of the way it's placed to pull Juggernaut in. Well, I think that's fine. You, you most of the time when you're playing as brother play, you want to destroy a construct, don't you? Um, and you might even be still outside of two because of where Voodoo is. Outside of two, what, what's two matter for? Apparently, Kevin sucks. Chang is writing text that he sucks, okay? Uh. <laughs> Sending messages <laughs> into the void. Uh, it looks like maybe they're taking a quick uh, refreshment break. Uh, it looks like Liam is, his mouse is stationary, so he might have just been called away for something. Real life does happen, and when I was playing my game against Morgan, we had an agreement that if like his kids turned up, 
uh, and needed something, then we just pause the game and, and carry on. Uh, with the clocks, it means the game's still not going to run super long. <laughs> Who's picking up my cards? Okay, Kevin, Kevin's having some fun at least during this game. <laughs> um, yeah, no, he's a he's a good sport. What's uh, it feels like we're kind of agreed. We think it's kind of advantage brotherhood right now. Do you think that's true? Yeah, I would have liked to have seen uh, Chang tie the middle and run his juggernaut to the back, and he'd be seven two. I th actually, or, for, sorry, for one seven one. Yeah, seven one for. I don't think the VP on the um, Brotherhood team matters hugely. I think the race to 16 is what matters. Because uh, I don't think this is going to go to round six. I could be wrong. But it doesn't feel like it's going to. And maybe he yeah. thinks that one VP for the, the, the little puzzle he set up here with sacrifice available, maybe he thinks that that VP was worth keeping the attrition down and spreading the damage and you know having hood undo a lot of the work that's going to be done well on the bright side the the long thrown juggernaut has stopped the immediate ash for them so liam has to play juggernaut first uh i mean he could yeah yep he's probably going to try to kill his chain's back line or the other option is to slide in and try and push Kingpin out of two so that he can't can't sacrifice from Juggernaut. But yeah, it looks like he's going towards Cap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if Cat lives, she can stagger Magneto again, which is very bad for Brotherhood, I think. Yeah. Um. But here's the thing. Hood can just he can put sacrifice here and keep cat alive. So Yeah, so he's yeah, he's got this nice little two pairs and he's got the character the character that they want to get rid of and the character they can redirect the attack to. Yeah, so cat's probably not dead here. Uh, I think it's up to Kevin. If Kevin is happy for Cat to die. But I think you you're right, staggering Magneto is such a strong strong move. Yeah, and Magneto's like kind of running out of terrain here, so. Yeah, that big old size four he's looking wistfully at in the top of the board. Okay, so Juggernaut wasn't in range to do an auto damage, so yeah, he probably Ooh, just sacrificed yeah. a hood here. And then you get, ah, the downside of sacrificing to hood is you get mean old hood who doesn't heal. Um... Is he going to put sacrifice? I think they're getting dice, and I think Kevin's thinking about it. He's hovering over Hood. So I think he's aware of the option. I think he's weighing it up yeah. versus having it available to sacrifice into Kingpin. I think they're just thinking through what would happen if Juggernaut does. Uh, did Juggernaut spend a, uh, he spent a bunch of power fed the slide, didn't he? So Yeah. It's not the spender, it's just, just, just his builder. Yeah, Liam's been reducing damage on Juggernaut for the gamma damage. I think he's done it twice now. Yeah. So. Right, muddling over whether he plays Sacrifice or not. Uh, can I ask you a rules question or no? Uh, it, if it's a league game, you need to go to the accusers to get a. F I can tell you what I think, but it won't be definitive. Okay, okay, so that's fine. Kevin, just popping in. Are you not an accuser, Jacob? Uh, I used to be, but um, I didn't take the revalidation exam, and I quite enjoyed not constantly getting pinged for rules questions. So I was like, oh, yeah. do you know what? Maybe, maybe I'm fine with this. Um, so yeah, I, I, I've got a good rules knowledge, and I, pro I think I would pass the accuser uh, assessment, and I probably should take it. But... Yeah, I just had an, uh, a situation come up in my local shop yesterday. My uh... My opponent was playing Asgard, and he had a sibling rivalry, and his Loki was behind uh, Thor, and he was trying to throw Loki through Thor. Okay. And uh, can't okay. do that. In fact, the action we have got, yeah, it's sacrificed in Hood. Hood is... Alive, because Juggernaut rolled terribly. Oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he did. 
You love to see that. Uh, so he's going to flip to mean old hood. Uh, no, I think you stay in, de in human form. There's no reason to switch. You've got to if you take damage. That's not correct. Um, you can but... choose not to. You have to flip a few days. Oh, we make touch right. Oh, it is me. I have always been treating that as a must. Okay. The things you learn. I've been playing that character loads this season as well. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, do you... Because it bounces you back close to yeah, the Yeah, Hood point. has a lot of nuance that takes a few games or however many yeah. to get used to him. Um, but, yeah, I think you keep him in human form because then uh, you, you, can... kept, you keep the heal online. Because if you demon form him, your round is going to be charge, strike, strike, juggernaut, or something like that. Which, mm, yeah... It might be okay, but you're probably happier to move, shoot Juggernaut, and heal your Juggernaut, heal your Juggernaut. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So it looks like he is keeping him in human, or he's maybe mulling it over and thinking about his options. But we th we think Black Cat's the right activation here, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, because you're gonna. There's gonna be an asteroid M here now. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know if I like this, but. Oof. Um, Black Cat's going to die immediately. And, yeah, that feels... Yeah, so he's going to heal Juggernaut here. Which? And then probably just shoot somebody. Maybe he's saying Hood's now back on the point. I don't care if Black Cat dies right now. And then I'll score six. So... Yeah, maybe you're fine with those two characters. Yeah. Magneto and Juggernaut just being activated and not scoring anything. And then you just run Kingpin to the back Gamma Shelter. Wait, that's so he's healed. He's still he got, healed his own Dragon Yeah, he's still got another action, hasn't he? Yeah, you just shoot somebody at this point. Probably Liam's Dragon uh, Mr. Rabbitfire, sad. Yeah, but. No damage. Yeah, it's just Rapid Fire. Yeah, I feel like that activation could have waited. Um, I, I can see why, again, he's just got a different set of priorities, and I think he's prioritising keeping Juggernaut alive over keeping Black Cat alive. And now that Sacrifice is gone, I think he's thinking, well, I need to... Yeah, here we go, here's the asteroid M. <laughs> right, right in the middle. Right near all. all right, it's like, I can just attack... Is everyone going to be in range No pre-measuring on the terrain is kind of weird for me. Like, I, he should be pre-measuring for Magneto. Um, but... uh, I think the ambulance down down the bottom is definitely in three. I don't yeah, think you're ever going to get the fire truck. Yeah, you probably could have got flip car as well. Uh, I don't know. Ooh, yeah, you're right. That's That looks probably like it's just a bit out. But I think you'd have to go a bit wider than he wanted to in order to get Yeah, you probably could have got one construct, the ambulance, and the flip car, all with one mm. like, little bit of pre-measuring. But you just like, skip that. Okay, here's an attack coming into someone with four defense. So that's Juggernaut or Kingpin. I suspect Juggernaut. And for the crit and no skulls yet, which is super important for the rerolls. Yep, three rerolls about to come in. Dropped him a little bit. Mm, it's a big hit. Yeah, one block. Uh, it's on to Kingpin. Oh, he went into Kingpin. This is actually good, I think. Be happy to power up your kingpin. Uh, I think it's going to daze a kingpin, is what it's going to do. And then he's going to take him off the board, and then there's no more leadership. I think that, that might be the plan for me in here. And then without the leadership, I think this goes down pretty quickly downhill. Uh, kingpin's got two blocks. Oh, Mags rolled double crits, no skulls. That's rough. Yeah. That's yeah. a daze. Is good kingpin. right now. And uh, he's going to retain priority because he's got fewer models. Mm. And he's still got the option to throw a bunch of terrain if he needs to, although I think probably preserving the terrain is better at this point. The only, only target he can throw it into is Juggernaut, and I don't think you want to power him up. Yeah, see, his placement is weird now because he can't throw terrain at, like, Cat or Hood. Uh, I don't know. I think... Yeah. So just don't. All right. Maybe off to slightly to the side. Sort of... I think this is fine. You just stagger Magneto. 
Yeah, I think that was in. I think they're in two. And then he could even... Does one long move? How much power? Is, yeah, a, a long move and a grappling hook. Cat can go and sit on the back thing. She doesn't care about whether, yeah, exactly. she's, whether she's injured or I not. Love that. I like that play a lot. I think you probably save it until you've maybe punched Voodoo in the face with Juggernaut. No, you want Juggernaut to go last because Juggernaut can score at any point on the table, whatever he wants. That's so. true. But if he goes with Cat now... Uh, then because you know, Kingpin's dead if he goes with Cat now then Voodoo's going to attack Cat and Voodoo's maybe going to kill her so I think the safe play is Juggernaut who stays in the middle scoring that point punching Voodoo and he gets back to back hopefully he dazes Voodoo gets back to back activations and Cat runs to the back with grappling hook that's what I would be thinking but what do I know Right, it's, got, it's got super tight now. <laughs> Zoom right in on these characters. Just a massive punch up in the middle. Yeah, I think Chang has to... He probably has to play Juggernaut and try to kill Voodoo. Like, otherwise, move. Voodoo, Voodoo can, from where he is, he can attack Cat. I think that's in range three. He yeah, move be. slide uh, into... I think if you slide into Voodoo, you'd still be on the point, and then punch Voodoo and try to kill him. Uh, move puts you to four. You only have to do two damage to have a spare slide anyway. Yeah, it's it's because next round you're gonna lose a character, and if then you can counteract and kill his Voodoo. Like, you might lose two characters. Like, there's a high chance that Chang loses Cat and Kingpin next round. Yes. Unless Cat ends up on that back point, that's a relatively safe place for her. Yeah, I think she has to go back there. But if Voodoo survives, he's got a bunch of power. He could quite happily just turn off Juggernaut and attack Cat, and that's going to be real bad for Kevin if that happens. Yep, so we got to move. So yeah, I think he's he's got to try and got to try and deal with Voodoo. So we're going to see a big big roll coming in here. This is one of one of the pivotal moments. Feels like. Yep, just do the punch first and see what you get. Not hearing dice coming down yet, but oh yeah, some power going off Juggernaut. So he's, so he's doing gone, a spender. Okay. Yeah. Big 10. Yeah. So he's... So because he hasn't got the good, not going to get any power off this, he needs to do five. That's Ooh, a great that's a attack, hit. though. And blocking two from Voodoo, blocking three from Voodoo. So three... Three damage. Three Damn. damage. Oof. One short of getting him. Uh, nice. Oh, he's got cover. Yeah, no, cover. Two damage up. Yeah, he's only got cover from mags because of the magnetic refraction as well. Um, cover. Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty good. So we'll that, do your slide here. Uh, he hasn't got power to slide because he's. You get the slide trigger on the wild. I think. Ah, uh, gotcha. The spender. Yeah, yeah. So you can put one into him. That takes you off the point though, so I can see why he wouldn't. Yeah, if it takes you off the point, you don't bother. Yeah. Uh. That's a bit of an oof there for Kevin because I think Voodoo's going to turn off Jugs and I think it's in yeah. Cat. We'll see, but yeah, might be just out. Can't do anything about that. Or is he looking to go into Hood? He's been putting down a stick and measuring to Hood. Maybe he's just making sure if he's going to if he has to move to get a cat, he wants to be in three of Hood or out of three of Hood. It's probably fine if. Jugs gets possessed because Cat can just go back there and and take it anyway. So, no, is it, has he got? A, it's only a short throw on uh, Voodoo, isn't it? The range. It is. Short. Yeah. yeah. So I don't think that's going to reach Cat from where he is there. He could have moved. Guess we got to possess on Juggernaut. Yeah. Yeah. He could have moved up so that Cat was in throw range and thrown a construct because again. Why not get rid of a construct? You're going to place another one next round anyway. Okay, yeah. but this is three dice. So do you think this is cat? Or is this, this could be into hood because he made sure he was in three of hood. So we've got a sap. 
and a damage. Maybe it was Hood. That's yeah. really bizarre. I don't know why he's attacking Hood. Uh, maybe he didn't think he was going to do enough to Cat and didn't want to power up too much. But having Voodoo on that yeah, point. Yeah, so, I mean, Cat has enough power, though. Now you just stagger Magneto. If you get the elusive, you can. Uh, check the scroll and move to the point. Or I guess no, you move short. Think about scrolls. Uh, cat on a point doesn't help anyone right now because she's injured. No, but she can stand on the back gamma with Juggernaut and score it. Uh, I mean, I guess. Okay, so he's having taken that damage, he's gonna now go Demon Hood. Uh, really nice play there for anyone who's not played much against Juggernaut. Standing on top of size 4 and size 5 buildings, great protection from his slide because it doesn't it only destroys up to size 3. So um, Hood now is slide immune from Juggernaut. Uh, so he's throwing the terrain, he threw the construct at Juggernaut, okay. So again, yeah, just always good to use that construct just so you've got the option of where you want to put it. And it generates... Yeah, they need to take Hood's human form off the table. And then... Uh, yeah, I think Cat, Cat should stagger Magneto right now. But he's probably pre-measuring if he doesn't get the elusive. He can grappling hook. Or he's just not going to do that. Okay. <laughs> I think your Kingpin has a chance at living if you stagger Magneto. Kingpin's probably for sure dead now. Yeah, he's gonna have the size. He should take a bleed damage. He's forgetting that. Okay. Yeah, me, they forgot the bleed damage. Let me get an accuser in for that one. Can we? I mean, that's pretty obvious. Okay, there it's, it is. Yeah, they've got it. That's good. All right, so I'd expect to see Kingpin die here. Uh, I wonder if he's going to pull Daniel back. Looks like he is. Yeah. Yeah. Good old voodoo, no counterplay. Yeah. Sure. Seems fine. Um Yeah, I think he's he's got plenty of he's, he's very likely to have enough yeah, he's only needs to generate one power in order to put it back on Juggernaut. And the defense I think is gonna be more valuable with resisting Juggernaut. So this looks like the size three and Kingpin. Yeah. Oof. Nary a block. It's probably going to reduce it, it though and take, take three. That's, yeah. I think Kingpin is not yeah, long for this table. And I think if Kingpin goes away, I think this is suddenly super tricky for Kevin. He's only got to score six, though. So he can win out if he scores all three this round, which is frankly tricky, especially if, King, well, if Kingpin's gone. It's pretty much impossible. Just doesn't have the displacement he would need. Uh, yeah, these so magnetos have been pretty good. Well, this it's just consistent through. Right yeah, so he's only blocking one. That's, that's a little bit under par for, for what you'd expect from mags. So he's going yeah, to take no, one off that. Yeah, change this roll one block on eight dice, so it's just kind of pretty rough. Yeah, but this is where if that stagger had been out there, suddenly Kingpin's looking at Yeah, living. suddenly Kingpin's alive, right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He should have absolutely staggered. He had a grappling hook to back up, missing the elusive. Again, no blocks. One block on 12 dice, but then, oof. Or Magneto might just whiff here. Yeah, um, it does happen. Obviously, he needs three do... damage through. He's got the three, so he's going to reduce one. Kingpin does on one? He's going to live on one, and if he's smart, he's going to run away. No, he throws a construct now, and ah, he yeah, can't right. die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need, what, two blocks here to not die? 
Yeah, his defence dice are just, just dead. Yeah, just just abandoned him. He should have staggered. He he would have lived. Yep. And Kat's sitting there on five power now, which she doesn't really have a good use for. Please don't stagger Dragonaut. <laughs> you know better than this. Uh, well, that's that's Liam's tool. He's just looking at where Cat can get to. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Well, that was a pretty effective Magneto activation right there. So now the leadership's off the board. So Hood and Juggernaut are easy to be contested against. And, and Kevin's still got the last activation. So this is not hopeless because Juggernaut does have some displacement. displacement. And climbing, he's got climbing gear available. And oof, although Hood, even with, with his damage reduction too, with only two health left. But I don't love his chances of surviving. Hood might live through Juggernaut. He can't get slid into. Uh, actually, take that back. Juggernaut just move on the building and slide into him and kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, See. So I don't know if he's got a good landing spot though. I think that'd be tricky to get up on that building with a short yeah, move to a short move to and find somewhere for the base to end up. But he has got four power, so maybe he just moves and does a spender into him with a ten dice and says, "Well, I just need four, four damage through your two defense." Seems pretty likely, I reckon. So I think just just doing a spender into him will daze him, and you can then position yourself just off the building, scoring that point. Yeah, I, I don't like. Yeah, uh, chain is in rough shape now. Like you have to go for violence but you're fighting into refraction yes uh, okay so we're gonna try this we're gonna stagger voodoo i guess i think he might be out of two now but what do i know it's been a little bit sloppy on the placement now i mean it's clear what the intent is and there is definitely a place she can go to do this but i think the models ended up in the wrong place Looking for that wild, I imagine. Yep, no wild, but no blocks, but it's only one damage anyway, so. Stagger onto Hood. Oh, no, you did get the wild. There we go. That's the elusive tree. Back on the point. That's that, that's quite a big deal, yeah, because he, now that tree... probably would have staggered Magneto. <laughs> I, think he's, I think he's trying to win this round i think he sees that as his best route to victory and that's why that uh, elusive trigger on cat was so big because it's still possible for him to score all the points you, you just can't win this round voodoo all you have to do is possess somebody and you can't win the game that's true but if you can daze voodoo his juggernaut's going to be on move up be on full power oh, okay it's not great yeah so here comes jugs i'd expect to see the spender There we go, four power off Juggernaut. So, remember Hood's got a uh, damage reduction of two on this, but he's only got two dice. So we're looking for four damages going through to then reduce by two. No blocks again. No blocks, so four hits kills Hood. There, there it is. Go. There it is, there's the four. Well, that it dazes him, but that definitely takes the um, possibility of a win out this turn this round off the board it's going to give priority to kevin but i don't think he's got great things he can do with it uh yeah i think juggernaut has to slide in and punch voodoo but he can't even slide he's got he has to move yeah move punch voodoo and try to kill him with probably the spender so Chang can win here if he is able to kill Voodoo and get the scroll. That's true. Uh, Three, no, four. because oh, he doesn't have double. Because Magneto yeah, point. needs to get rid of Magneto. But that's fine. I think you can score one point. Yeah. Before you get table. That's probably true. Yeah, you could probably find a way to score one. Okay, so it's, it's yeah. It's a dice roll. It's about what twenty three percent to get that scroll. 
There hasn't been a single roll on it yet. Yeah, you've got a one shot voodoo here. Which is possible, but it's punching in a four dice with cover. Yeah, the covers, I think, might be the difference maker. He's not doing the spender, he's just doing the, the, the builder. Looking for a spike, that's not going to cut the mustard. Yeah, that might just be it then. Uh, Moody will just walk back, possess cat, stay on the point of mags, and he'll score all the gamma shelters. Yeah, six. Brings him back level 10 10. Oof. Yep, here comes here comes a voodoo. Uh, he, he can't reach the back one because he's staggered. So he can't yeah, stagger, walk, possess cat, stand on the point, and that's it. That uh, should be in range. He, he can't get to the back point. No, you stand on the point with Magneto. Right, okay, so he's only going to score five, not six. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Daniel doesn't score points for you to throw. Yeah. But still, scoring five is pretty good. Getting back to within one of Criminal Syndicate. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, that's what we talked about. That early oomph wasn't quite enough. Maybe some of those plays getting onto that back point that we talked about earlier. Uh, what are we rolling? I think maybe he's thrown something at Hood. Two dice are thrown Hood's at Hood. You're right, he is. He can't even throw. He throws short. There's no one in range. Oh, that was the roll for the scroll, is what that was. He tried to pick up the scroll and didn't get it. Oh, change one for the scroll. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Hit and wild. Yeah, you just pre measured the, the range tree to black cat from the middle. No. Mm. Juggernaut he's is. He's sliding back. Okay. Because he's yeah. not winning that anyway. Yeah, so he'll win that now. It'll be three to thirteen to Oh uh, yeah. Nine. Okay. No, I do like that because That's a good play. Yeah. That's a good play. Agreed. That was that was solid. Uh because you can't possess both of them. At the same time. So yeah, Voodoo's gonna come back. So okay. So there's still still a game in it, because then three if Cat can like run up to the top and find a scroll. She can right. check two oh which beyond she went for, yeah, she can move long, check a scroll, move long, uh, grappling hook, check another scroll. So she gets two shots at it, which is about a 45% chance of finding it. And if she finds one of the scrolls, then he just needs Juggernaut to stand on a point. Well, and... Chang might win this game now. I think that was... I just didn't see that. That was a good one. Um, uh, you can have... You just immediately, because Chang is prior now, so you immediately stagger Magneto. And he basically is useless. <laughs> uh, I don't know about useless, but it, it's definitely a strong play. Liam finding the scroll here would be huge for him. Yeah. But then Cat just steals it, right? Uh, so he's trying to. In theory, yes. Yeah, he's what that's what that long movement is looking. Where will Cat's base be, and what will one inch from that base be? He's trying to make sure that Cat can't. Thing is, is if Cat steals it, Voodoo just possesses her. Uh, that's true, but she might be might be able to get far enough away that he can't pick it up. I guess Juggernaut just kind of swoops yeah, in. Yeah, he's done a check now. Okay. Yeah. Again, some big rolls coming. Still no scroll. It's good for Chang. I think it is, yeah. Yeah, I think it's really good for Chang. So, 9.13. Oof. I think maybe we underestimated how uh, how, how Kevin was doing. Well, Kevin's playing well, man. I, that's why he's in the cut and I'm not. Yeah. So... <laughs> And we're going into round five, and both players have got about 50 minutes left on their clocks. So we've used what? We've used 25 minutes. Pretty speedy game. Good players know what they're doing. Okay, we've got a 
construct out for mags. Got some power. Squeaky bum time. So, with only nine, five, nine plus five, so that takes him to 14. So if Kevin loads up the back point, which he kind of looks like he's doing, he's going to run hood back there. Looks like he's doing a charge with hood. Ah, okay, charge with hood. I hope he's I doing missed... a charge. He didn't pay any power. Yeah, I missed the power coming off. Uh, he's got plenty of power though, but maybe he'll fix that just after the attack. This is a Tavudu, it looks like. Which I like. But then we haven't got the stagger on Magneto yet. Mm. Yeah, he could just kill. I don't know why. Okay, he paid the power for charge. He's just uh, a weird order about it. Yeah, okay. Um, and then he's going to go know, I think with you a... just strike Voodoo again and go for blood. Go for a spender. He's got loads of targets. You can give Voodoo two dice. Uh, that's true. So, you know, it'd be cool if he did one more damage because then he could spend her into, like, Magneto or something. And if you get the wild, I think Voodoo dies. Is it two damage on Ark? Yeah. Oof. Great roll from Voodoo. But a really good block from Voodoo as well. Oh, it's going to be tight. Looks like there's three going through. It looks like they got him. Because oh, wow. Magneto hasn't had, a chance to put, hasn't had a chance to put up his cover yet. That is super good. Yeah, so Hood transforms automatically now, which is great because you can now heal your Juggernaut, probably. Uh, yeah, he's got a bunch of power. And he's got range. Looks like he does. He's in a measure now, I guess. Do you check for the Scroll as well. You probably don't actually. You want the scroll no, to stay no, 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 yeah, no, he's he's got, to him. Otherwise, he's got seven points on the table. Yeah, so now I get a sweet heal on Juggernaut. That's great. Yep. That's pretty good. It's going to help. And the days no, on. That's really good. Days on Voodoo. Yep, okay, so it's swinging back. Criminal Syndicate direction. Hmm. A little dicey of a play, but it paid off for him. Respect. Uh, it's what, 12 dice into 8. Yeah. yeah. And he got 5 damage through. Yeah, that's, that's, that's solid. That's probably a little bit above the curve. Uh, essentially staggering Magneto. He has to now walk to go and deal with stuff. So who do you attack? Do you attack? Oof. I think you try to, I don't know, it's hard. There's not a ton of terrain. You just have a couple size twos. You can probably kill Cat with throws. I think he's going to get that size, that flipped over. Is that flipped over size two? Or is it flipped over? Yeah, size it two. It is, car. yeah. And he's got his, he might be walking out of range of his construct. I'm trying to eyeball yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know why he's putting up being range tools on the terrain. He's probably walking, ooh, yes, yeah, he should be walking into size three of his other construct. Also important to note, because Voodoo has days now, Chain gets to go last with his Juggernaut, unless Cat dies here. Okay, yeah. Throw in, throw in a size two into into Hood, who's completely healthy and has got damage reduction too. So, so a minimum one though. So. Cloak? Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, it's um, he it didn't. He's, he's, he's human again, isn't he? But then. Yeah. He's going to take... Hood should, he should be transforming Hood here. I, say, I agree. There's no reason for him not to be. But I guess he did invisibility? Yeah. Yeah, he did invisibility cloak. By yeah, the way, he so. did. Okay, yeah, I balled it properly. Just gonna click the button again. There we go. So 
looks like a car being thrown at an attack. Oops. Yeah, so this is into cat. Yeah, so it's actually car into cat. Yeah, she's dead. Oof. Oof. Yeah, I mean that was pretty, pretty very likely to happen. But he's got one rerolls attack into Juggernaut, his full health with a reduction, so Juggernaut's probably alive. Shouldn't be done. True, here. but what's going to happen? I think I'll see what happens with this attack, and then I've got some thoughts. A whole bunch and of rerolls. Needs Juggernaut to not die, and I think he wins. Oh uh, no, no, he, he's no. one off. Little. Okay, so a bit of chip damage going into Juggernaut there. Um, I think that means that Liam has to bring his Juggernaut back to contest. He does. That's that's the the line, and then that leaves um, Hood scoring two in the middle. Maybe he can pick a scroll up on the way through to try and help yeah, things I, out. Yeah, I would try to check for the scroll on Juggernaut with Hood's chain because uh, he's not going to have enough power to slide twice. Yeah. I, I think oh. he's kind of forced that play. Juggernaut probably just clears the bleed and maybe takes a punch. If Juggernaut him. finds a scroll, I think the game's over. Uh, which Juggernaut? Change Juggernaut. Because uh, he moves up, gets the scroll... And then moves back. Well, that's only five points. That only takes him to 14. Wait, what? Because Foodie's no, 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 if Chang... Moves, oh, sorry, if Chang finds the scroll. gets it. Uh, and moves back to the shelter that he's on. I or, think the game's over. Or because uh, he's got Hood in the middle. Yes, you're right. But he has cleared the bleed on his... No, he hasn't cleared the bleed yet. I'm joking not. Yeah, I mean, you can move, check slide shake bleed or something or just reduce the bleed damage and then move check slide yeah he's got the power for that probably just move check move reduce the bleed damage because that costs one and that's yeah you're right that, that's better more efficient use power isn't it so yeah, yeah. check the, the power scroll. see if we can find a scroll if he gets it, I think it's over. Nope. Mm. As soft in the way. Maybe it turns up in round six? He's going for a punch here. Okay. Uh, might as well, I guess. Ooh, good punch too. Send a decent block. Blocking two, you taking two. two. Moves. Yeah. I just don't know what that does for you. Generates a bit more power. He can. So, I was going to say slide twice, but he can't quite. I think it was just a free attack into Magneto. He hasn't got much to do with the power when all the train's gone. So. But now you can. I think he's like, I've got a spare action. I guess he can slide back. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I obviously haven't played a lot of Juggernaut. <laughs> the alternative was to... Because he gained two power on that and paid three. He's probably still going to pay one for the for the bleed reduction, isn't he? Yeah. Yep, he paid the power. Okay. So, yeah, it's forced, forced the play here to make this go to round six. Which is going to be how much power he's got this juggernaut? So he, he's going to. Move. Yeah, I mean Liam has to tie. I think uh, his, oh, he's got to slide. He has to stop juggernaut yeah, from yeah. scoring. I think he's got to slide first because if he moves, he can't slide, can't thread the needle between Hood and Magneto. I don't right. think. So this, yeah, this is the slide first. And he might bump into Hood and do a damage gem as well. Mm. 
Okay, he's gonna transform. Good, smart. Just looking to see can he body block. Oh, that's fun. He needs to leave himself on the point. I agree. Yeah. He's going to move, and I guess move again, unless he's able to get on the point. He might be able to. Or if he punches and generates three power. Oh, this is dicey. That's dicey if he goes, if he's going down. If he doesn't way. hit the wild for any damage, he just loses the game. <laughs> but the upside is really high because he's contesting hood. So See, if Chang just... saved his indomitable, yeah. I guess he's power short. Well, he's got the wild. And he's doing some, yeah. some good dice. So this might might pay out for Liam. One block. Yep, so he's gonna generate a bunch of power and get the push. And he is scoring that point over the top of Hood because Hood's injured. So that's that's come out beautifully for Liam. But it could have gone horribly wrong. <laughs> yeah, if Juggernaut whiffs there, he loses the game. Yeah. Oof. I'm going to see a patch up on Magneto now. And he's checking with the scroll first, I think. I don't know how many times they check that civilian. He's just not a scroll. It's clearly one of the guys on the wide. I don't know why they haven't figured that out. Hmm, okay. Yeah. So scoring is just going to be gonna come just short. two points to Liam, right? Yeah, it be 11, 13. Yeah, here's the patch up you were saying. Get Mags nice and healthy. So Chang right. has prior with the powered up Hood, so if Hood is able to kill Voodoo, uh, then he might be okay. He dies to Magneto? He's got a climbing gear as well, so he might be able to climbing. Ooh. I think that placement of Hood, if he'd have managed to go a bit closer to that far gamma shelter. Hmm. Hmm. Just Measuring sure gamma damage. Yeah, just like gamma damage. Liam hasn't moved his VPs up. Uh, should be thirteen eleven. Should be, shouldn't it? Let's just double check that. So Juggernaut is healthy, Voodoo's dazed, Hood is injured. Yeah, all well, um Juggernaut's not on the point? No, he definitely is. Yeah. Uh yeah, Juggernaut's on the point. Well, this is round six. Let me uh Okay, okay, there's the VPs. Oh, there we go, they've done it. Cool. They caught it. <clears throat> I just don't see Chang scoring any points this round. He doesn't have any characters. So it's Juggernaut on that top point, isn't it? That's that's his line to victory. But Voodoo, Juggernaut, and Magneto can all stop Chang's characters from scoring. And Brotherhood's going last. Unless there's like a daze or something. Oh yeah, he's only got two characters left on the board. Yeah. Even if there's a daze, brother would still go on last. <laughs> yes, yes they are. Man, okay. So yeah, Voodoo's surely the priority because he's got the diceless no scoring for you. Voodoo's just the easiest to kill here as well, so. You just need to remove bodies. It doesn't matter who. Yeah. Yeah, I think he just has to YOLO hood into, into voodoo. But 
But even if that happens, let's say that goes, that happens and it goes well. Mags pushes Hood off the point and mm -hmm. moves on to the, the back point. What does Liam need to win? He needs, he needs to just score two, takes it to round seven, three wins it if he can stop Kevin scoring. Bang basically needs a daze on both of his activations, I think, to win this game. Uh, I can see what he needs to do is he needs, you're absolutely right, he needs to take out Voodoo because then you're relying on like wilds on Juggernaut to, yeah, it's going to come down to Liam's Juggernaut role, I think, would be my prediction. If you can get Voodoo. If you can't get Voodoo, it's game over, I think. Yeah. So we're seeing six dice into four. This is, yeah, almost certainly head into Voodoo. Yeah, Voodoo has to die. Oof, Otherwise, and it's that's a throw hood and not a good attack. Because that's Juggernaut in this game. Yeah, so the first attack was nothing. Here he is. He's got to one shot him with six dice attack. Odds yeah. are not in his favour. But it was the only line of play. He's doing a spender, I guess. I guess. Into Voodoo's six dice. Uh, sure, but I mean, great, bigger, bigger yeah, dice, bigger variants, yeah, so the chance of a spike is higher. Yeah, yeah, it's not, there. Was not enough. Got the wild, which is kind of cute, but and then again, great defense dice. Just the defense dice from. Do you remember that it started off really hot, and then it went through a period where Chang just couldn't roll defense, and now the yeah. defense dice are coming back with a vengeance. Yeah, that's it, I think. Feels like it. I mean, there's... I wonder if... You know, we were discussing that one VP. If Chang's on 14, how does that change the map? I'm not sure it does. Yeah, I'm not sure it does change it. But again, we're seeing with Criminal Syndicate, it's all about the, the early gas. You've got to, got to rack up the score super fast before the attrition starts to... Exactly. Yeah, his early game score was not high enough. I think Kingpin could have lived, though, if Magneto got staggered. Agreed, yeah, and then that changes the whole complexion of this game. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if he saw the uh, the stagger attack into Magneto elusive move grapple hook. Or oh, even and if I you don't get the elusive, you, you can still move. Without elusive. Yeah, he still with the power grapple hook. What do we got? We got checking for a scroll by the looks of it. Finally, it turns up. It was that guy all this time. There it is. And that's on Voodoo. Voodoo's found the scroll, and that's game, right? Voodoo yeah, just walked Voodoo to the back. Point. Voodoo walks to the back point, so, scores five points by himself. Seems yeah. good. Maybe I'll see on nine power. Yeah, Juggernaut just can't interact with Voodoo if you move him to the back point. Well, I mean the alternative you just is yeah. the alternative is you go and turn Juggernaut off. And it looks like he's rolling dice, seven dice to stuff a legba into hood. Yeah, why not I guess? Kind of unnecessary. You just toss it into the ether and then move to the back point. Got plenty of power for it, yeah. Uh, and now you can toss hood. Just throw him in the construct, I guess. He's dead. <laughs> uh, or into the building. Yeah, he's in range to move. I don't know why he's not throwing. I think maybe it. Doesn't matter because he's got two healthy characters in Magneto and Juggernaut, and one of them, and one of them's already standing on that point. So, what do you gain? You don't really gain anything by doing it. But I guess on the other side, what do you lose? Yeah, yeah. there's a shock token on uh, on Voodoo. I'm not sure that's going to be there, but yeah, that's from the oh, Hood Spender. From Hood Spender. Yep. OK, 
Okay, so Hood's on 3 damage. Maybe the damage was incorrect previously, so throwing Hood would not kill him. 3, damage reduction 2. Yeah, that feels right. You know, I'm back in, they've just checked that. I mean, do you pass here? No, I think you have to. Yeah. So if you go and stand on the point, then you've got two shots at getting pushed off the point. Where you do, Magneto just pushes you off trivially. I think he does that anyway. Just Yeah, so you pass here, you pray that Liam doesn't kill your Juggernaut, and then you have to... See, this is what happens when you don't kill Hood or take him off the point. Like, if Chang passes here, Liam does something, attacks Juggernaut, and doesn't kill him, Juggernaut goes and kills the unactivated character, Chang wins. Because Hood is still in the middle. Uh, but he's injured. But there's not going to be anyone there. Uh, depends what what Kevin chooses to do, I think. The the, the play Liam uh, is going to be banking on is Mags goes last and attacks from outside of range 3, moves you off a point, you're not scoring any points. So if I was, if I was Liam, I would happily activate Juggernaut kill hood just by sliding into him uh and then punching him that should that should do it um, right but then chain can move uh -huh. and then punch liam's magneto and daze him and then the, you win like what well, one what would it be one ten dice punch oh man yeah you're right you you, you probably do go after that juggernaut. You have to kill, if you're Chang, you have to pass here, and then you have to kill the unactivated character, praying that your juggernaut doesn't die before that. Yeah. And Liam has given him out by like not throwing Hood off that point for no reason. Yep. Voodoo's got a bunch of power. Or he could have possessed Hood. That would have been fine too. Yeah, it's, it's just leaving him there doesn't make any sense. And I don't think Hood is possessed, right? No, he's not. Yeah, because Liam rolled the Staff of Legba, uh, and then here, check the scroll, rolled the Legba, and then got a power for the skull, which is why he's on seven. Yeah, and then he moved. So can yeah, Chang has to pass. If he doesn't pass, I think he's, he's done. And if he does pass, he might be done as well. Oh, of course, yeah, the dice will decide, but I think Cause... if he don't pass, there is, it's a diceless win. Okay, yeah. well, let's see how this pans out. He's I mean, he can't Magneto. kill Magneto and Juggernaut, so it doesn't matter, because Juggernaut but, just ties the back point, and that's the game. Five... 15-16? Uh, Liam stands to score five. Go to 16. Yeah, yep, you're right. Ten dice. I think this is into Magneto. Yeah, he's got six dice coming yeah, in. Say this is into Mags. Great big good. smash, but I think you're right. Well, we'll see. I'm sure. Ooh. 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 Uh, yeah. It, Mags, Mags lives, but gets slid into, presumably. Yeah, slide to daze. So gains three power, spends up three power for the slide, dazes Mags. And then yeah, Liam's just, just saying, I just got to stand on the point. Yeah. Okay, should we... I think that's the game. Yeah, I'll just wait to put the scores up. Yeah, it could be 16, 7, or uh, 18. Or 16, 15. Doesn't really matter. Dragonaut just has to stand on one of the other points. Yeah, they've, they've moved it off. Okay, should we jump into the other, other channel yeah, and have so a chat with them? 16, 18. See you on the other side. Mm-hmm.
I think they're still playing Jacob, actually. Oh, okay. So they're rolling dice. Yeah, I, I think Juggernaut's just making a... Oh, just uh, a for funsies uh, attack. Inconsequential attack into somebody. Yeah. Probably his Juggernaut for a while. Okay, let's jump in now. I think they're having done that. I think they're done. One message from the chat. Okay, let's jump in. It might have been. It, I do think it was still probably. I still personally think that was the best move. Uh, mm -hmm. Just because keeping Cat alive lets like me put yeah. her back here. Yeah. Um, uh, and that scored me quite a few points from the mid game. Yeah. But it, would, it might have saved Kingpin, so it might have been a different game. I don't know if it would have saved Kingpin, though. That's my problem, right? Because mm. you still had an extra throw on top of that, I believe. Um, yeah, yeah, another. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, so I don't think that would have saved Kingpin, so I still think that was the best, the better use of Sacrifice. Um, hey guys, uh, firstly, hey. thank you very much for a very enjoyable game. Uh, we honestly, we were like, oh my god, this person's in the lead. Oh now this person's in the lead. Oh, how do we not see this person's actually going to win? Oh, there was a lot of... Uh, very close. Yeah, yeah, so great game to watch. Thanks very much. Yeah. Um, something for uh, I uh, guess... Yeah. If we uh, jump back right to the beginning of the game, and I just wanted to ask uh, about threat value. So 15 threat, Liam, you got to pick threat. Was there a reason you particularly liked 15 over 17? He gets less models. <laughs> yeah. As much as it is, it's close to kill. He, if we went to 17, he'd be five wide, and I would still be free. And that gives him an extra either. I don't know what he would have done. Uh, he maybe would have. I would give it bullseye. Yeah, yeah, bullseye and, and things like yeah. that. It's bullseye, yep. and I and I might run lizard instead of cat, maybe. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. How did you feel about gamma? So I have I have mixed feelings. I was about actually it. happy when he chose secures. Obviously, he normally would anyway, but his secures are more favorable to me than what his extracts were because herbs I don't want to play <laughs> against syndicate. Virus, he has access to a better virus play than I would, and research station, research station with them being with what demons downtown or something, and uh, nineteen threat again for him is then he's like super wide, yeah. and I would still be free. <laughs> uh, yeah, my only issue is that I had uh, I have demons downtown PTSD. Uh, yeah. Ever, I think I have a zero percent win rate on that on that crisis, so I want to avoid that as much as humanly possible. Mm. But uh, it might have been the it was it might have been the correct choice to just do extracts because my extracts are very good against you. I feel like. Oh yeah, definitely. Because like you say, like Terrigen's intrusions and the demons aren't a lot of points. So you can either play herbs or it becomes an attrition. Fair enough, the attrition would go in my favor. Uh, but you probably have way too much characters for me actually to kill if we went like nineteen because I don't want to play fifteen. In herbs, because again, you're still. You could probably go five wide, because you could just drop jugs for bullseye and another free threat and be wider. Yeah. Uh, uh, and that means Juggernaut doesn't get to do these good things. He has to then go chase herbs and things. Yeah. So then, uh, Kevin, early game, you had a couple of options, a couple of plays. You could have uh, got characters onto the, uh, the back point, the three scoring gamma. Was there a reason you chose not to take those those lines of play? Um, I do. Th I think the first one. Let's see if I remember right. There was a voodoo in my way. Uh, <laughs> yep. And I think that I think my juggernaut could not make it physically, uh, or if it was, it would have been really freaking close, and I didn't want to risk it. Um, I think round two, though, you had uh, Juggernaut could have got onto the back point. You chose to keep him in the middle with Kingpin coming back in, having been yeeted away. Uh, yeah, that was a little bit of hubris. 
<laughs> I wanted to go for the big play. That was just me, me being me silly. I think because uh, it would have been a really, it would have been a really awesome play to uh, hit Voodoo, push him off, and then get enough power for the uh, for the throw to Magneto to throw him away. Uh, and I think that was a. Uh, I mean, obviously that was a mistake, but I just wanted to, you know, have a kind of sweet play. So. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Mike, you had a couple of questions, didn't you? Yeah. Um, so, good game, guys. This is entertaining. Like Jacob said, we didn't know who... It, it, the advantage players seemed like it kept swapping. So, I, I had... Uh, the turn... The turn Kingpin got dazed. You... Black Hat was on Chang's home Gamma Shelter. And did you think about staggering Magneto and then elusive move grapple hook to the back gamma i don't know if i had the power i think you were on four so... i think i think you did but you didn't realize until turn three that troublemaker was range three and not two oh, yeah. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah we had that conversation because he measured i think the voodoo two and i was like he's like i'll oh, troublemaker and i'm like that's a range three attack you and then you you definitely would like you say you'd have been in range for as a uh, magneto then but. yeah so because if kingpin end up, or if magneto ended up getting staggered his first attack into kingpin was terrible the next round mm -hmm. it was really bad kingpin probably just lives with only one attack into him yeah no that was just a, a different game yeah that was just a standard misplay uh i did not yeah, no. i for some reason i didn't uh think troublemaker was three because you know black sometimes i i like to think black hat is balanced um <laughs> And then she surprises yeah. you even more. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Another question is, at the end of the game here, uh, you, Cheng, you had an option to pass, and then uh, Liam probably goes with the Juggernaut to try to kill your Juggernaut, and if he doesn't, and if you kill his Magneto, I think you win. Uh, Liam also decided to just not move Hood off the middle, which was a little weird. Um, um, Voodoo could have just thrown Hood, right? Um, or possessed him. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, I didn't see the need at that point because obviously when I got five from Voodoo moving back, um, I, like we were discussing at that point when he flipped that, I don't think I could lose or even so force a draw. What could have happened is if you just leave Hood there, your Voodoo's scoring five, so you go to 16. If your Juggernaut comes, if Cheng passes and then Juggernaut, your Juggernaut comes in to try to deal with his Juggernaut, mm. and you don't kill him. His Juggernaut can move, slide, kill your Magneto, and then I think Chang wins. The plan would, for me would have been if uh, I would have just moved Mags onto his point, my point here, like the furthest point from him, so he'd still have to move and then either slide or punch me, put Fraction back up, because I obviously didn't at the end of Fudu's turn, uh, just because I forgot. Uh, but then if he killed him, I would have then still been able to just walk Back. Unless I'm saying Chang has a chance to pass. Yeah, but that would be my last move. Would be my juggernaut because that's my because if he can't because he can't shift Magneto because he can't push him off, so you'd have to actually try to actually kill him. But if he spends his power for the I am um, the juggernaut, which he did, which which literally uh, got him it was uh, just really cool. It was really cool. Uh, at the end, uh, like I thought last the turn before, uh, I thought uh, Ch uh, Chang had me just because I, I was like trying to think in my head of because where Mags was when he was here, I was like trying to work out moving him. Could he get a throw? I needed the throw probably to kill Black Cat or uh, so that I could then maybe do enough damage into Jugs to make him go away. And then I was betting on uh, my Juggernaut to actually get a while to push him off for him not to... I think if he played his Black Cat... If his Juggernaut, if his Juggernaut was blocking Black Cat from a throw line, you just double move yeah. Magneto, right? And you just don't get yeah. the Juggernaut. Yeah. Which I think yeah. is basically what ended up happening anyway. It's not like Juggernaut yeah. died. I, I don't think he wanted to kill Juggernaut there, because then I just get on my back point, or on my back side, and I have a throw, which gives me a better chance of winning. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was just thinking about optimal play, right? Like, all you have to do would be move Magneto there, and then, like, sure, if you get if you make a mistake and you move Juggernaut instead, I could do that, but then, I mean, meh. <laughs> yeah, a couple other things. Chang, why did you opt to use Indomitable when you did? 
Uh, let's see, because I can't even remember what I used it. You uh, used it. I not used it in the middle. Yeah, to not... I would, I think we were drawn at that point, because I would have two TR... Can you might... One. Yeah, well, two people. I think that was it. No, Voodoo was no. in the middle. Kingpin, all yeah. he had to do was just double move to the middle anyway, and you score it. Mm. Uh, the Indom didn't do anything. I could have sworn there were two people there. Were there not? No, Magneto was in the back, and Liam started not like move forward, I believe. Okay, might have been a misplay then, because I wasn't even thinking about it. Um, I did think, well, what was it? Because if you had Indomitable on the back gamma, well, so when Liam played his Juggernaut and opted to punch your Juggernaut, if if you had Indomitable or if Liam just completely whiffed, he loses the game. Yeah. Right, exactly. There. I'm surprised uh, Liam went for that. He probably could just stood on the gamma shelter and not <laughs> left fate let uh, left fate to dice. Normally, I see the Indom being used for the Do You Know Who I Am, which is when obviously yeah. the Indom come out. That was then like, yes, I'm not just trading card for card at this point now. Yes, you you did it when I didn't have power. Yeah. It, I believe. Yeah, I when you do when you do not who uh, threw me away. I didn't think that was maybe best when you threw uh, me. Well, away. No, that, you stole the best right now. Right. Was... Yeah. Yeah, I think that was the biggest thing for me. Just so, so it was so two, and I was staggered, which I wouldn't want to ask right now with just one attack. Yeah. Yeah, we my... kind of muddled over that too. Yeah, I wouldn't want to just get one attack out of them. You kind of like you say, you want to get the two polarities at close range, and as I did with Kingpin, remove them. Eh, also fair. Sure. Yeah. That's all so, I got. I said some of the questions about the game and good stuff. GG. Congrats, Liam. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much. much. Change, but at least the stress is over. Oh yeah, dude. I'm so glad. <laughs> I can just go. Awesome. Well, yeah, Liam, uh, good luck in the next round. And uh, Kevin, I'm sure we'll see you around next season. Mm, yeah, maybe. <laughs> cool. All right. No, Thanks very much, guys. Suck, man. I got here a lot. Uh, well, it's funny. The, the more you practice, the luckier you get. Uh-huh. I don't like that. If all your guys were early def defense rolls, definitely. That is, uh, they were beautiful rolls, your early ones. I just could do no damage. Uh, I might have been better for you though, mate. Like, because if I, my Juggernaut actually dies early, I'm actually probably okay with that because I get access to the throw. Yeah. Mm. True, true. And then they, they sort of went away for your defense dice for a while and was like, I'm going to roll no blocks for you. Yeah. Yeah. No. That's always come around. That's always come around. <laughs> awesome, guys. Well, uh, have a good day. All right, guys. Yeah. Adios. Good luck, man. Yeah, thanks. Cheers, Kevin. Oh, um, do you want to put the thing in and I'll just...